If Jeff Eastman had a crystal ball and looked into it, maybe he would see himself somewhere else in the sunshine with a home and a future. But for the time being, he lives here. It's called the Mitigation Center in Olympia. It is a homeless camp. There is despair here, but there is something else too. There is invention and there is art, and maybe for this man, a form of salvation. I was just bored and broke. You know, uh, I found a magnifying glass, um, and you know, like what can I do to make money? And it, and it just popped in my head, you know, I can burn wood. <laughs> Necessity being the mother of invention, he found that by directing sunlight through the magnifying glass with laser-like focus, he could burn his own designs into the wood. He could create his own art. He tried some relatively simple team logos. Ronnie Roberts, Olympia's chief of police, got wind and commissioned Jeff to make him an Oregon Ducks logo. Lieutenant Sam Costello soon took an interest and made a few purchases. As soon as I learned that he did that, I asked him to, uh, to do one for uh, my dad, and subsequently my mom and me, and so several pieces from Jeff, yeah. That's Ann Larson. She's an outreach coordinator for the Olympia Police Department. She heard about Jeff and bought a couple of Wazoo Cougar pieces. Then she spread the word. And I connected him to the mayor, and she ordered us a seal um, for the city. And so Jeff's work is in Mayor Cheryl Selby's home. Ann told a lawyer named Mike Morgan about Jeff. He bought a logo for his firm. Ann Larson took it upon herself to open up Jeff's work to a wider audience. But the sun doesn't always shine in Olympia. One day, Ann brought him some wood-burning tools. And he took them, and then he gave them back to me two weeks later, never using them. He's like, it's not what I do. Jeff finds a purity in taming the sun. It's the only way he'll work. And the logos help him make money, but the work he really loves is far more complex. At the Thurston County Sheriff's Office, his Mayan calendar is on display. He's done clipper ships, portraits of icons, exotic designs, howling wolves, Star Wars montages, lighthouses, fantastic flights of fancy. Sergeant Amy King of the Olympia Police Department bought one of his best. I mean, when I saw this piece that I got, the intricacy of it is astounding to me. He's six foot seven. He's shy, self-conscious, generous. Ask him if he realizes just how talented he is, you'll get something like this. Um, I, don't, I mean, compared to other artists I know, I, I, I mean, sure, I'm, I, they, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm modest. I mean, I don't, it's hard, it's hard, 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 hard to talk about myself. You know. The artist isn't comfortable being held under the magnifying glass. When we visited him last, he'd been working on an amazing piece. Looking up at the sky in Gotham City above the skyscrapers was the shape of Batman. He'd created it here, even in the bleakest of places. Art finds a way. And he had something on his mind that day. He was packing up to leave. He was giving away remembrances. That is, that is just great. Thank you so much, man. I'm serious, bro. Congratulations, good luck. Man. Jeff has a friend in Kona, Hawaii, who has a place for him to live. He was leaving to start a new life. I like the idea that nobody knows who I am. <laughs> you know, personality-wise, I mean, um, I can try to be the smooth talker. You know, it's never gonna work, though. You know. <laughs> I always see it in my head, but you know, it never comes out of my mouth. You know. To help make his move possible, his friend Ann Larson had put out a message on social media. And just like that, seven or eight of his pieces sold. Jeff calls her a miracle worker. And so he showed up at SeaTac Airport the other day. He leaves behind a heartbreaking place, as well as little pieces of himself in the homes and offices and hearts of the people whose job it is to bring order to chaos. And you see pieces, different pieces of his art uh, all around. Um, in the police department. It, it's a visible reminder, I think, of our mission to build trust with every part of our community. Jeff Eastman had a crystal ball and looked into it. He saw himself somewhere else in the sunshine with a home and a future.